Hello everyone, I'm ExtraTZ87 and this is Let's Play Yakuza Kiwami Part 11. In the previous video we finished Chapter 5 and now we're uh, supposed to be heading out in the streets to figure out what the hell we're supposed to be doing next after all the purgatory stuff. Oh, okay, we can't can't leave this way. I think I got debated by that at the end of the last video too. It has been several days since I recorded the last video, but that did unlock a, like a memory in my brain. Ah! Oh, I think we actually did this. Yeah, yeah, because the dude wanted us to go talk to Sai. I may have loaded, like, not the most exact recent save. Yeah, I remember this. He's all like, he's got a family and, and whatnot. And then, is that Majima screaming in our ear? Are any any Majimas out here? Pretty sure we picked that up, Bart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Majima, I don't know where you are, man. Are you in a box? Are you a car? What? Who Who are you? How is Majima a car? That doesn't even make any sense. Granted, I mean, what about Majima makes sense? Okay, we gotta relearn everything real quick since it's it's been a been a hot minute. You're dead. Oh my god. Where'd you go? Oh my god, they've gotten so tanky. I remember that being kind of something that was a little annoying in Zero. Is that like basic enemies got like so tanky by the end? I think eventually you get an item that can disable random encounters, but... Oh, Majima's not a car anymore? That's cool. We should... Oh yeah, we got 50 points? What the hell? When thrown by an enemy? No enemy's ever thrown us. Anything that gives, like, makes our punches punch more? Yeah, let's go for punch more. Increases the damage of stuff. You can throw an enemy who has you on a hold. Extends the gauge of our heat step or quick step. That seems kind of good. But most importantly... Can't go wrong with a little more damage. How do I open the map? Oh yeah, it's the touchpad on the controller, which, uh, very odd. We have a quest over here. I don't remember. We had some stuff on our agenda to do. I believe. We could go walk by Pocket Circuit, at least check it out. I don't know if I'll do all that. I didn't do that stuff in Zero. Partially just because the Zero Let's Play took up such a long time, like, because I was recording it kind of slow. That I was very kind of like once you got to the later stages of the game, I was like, I just want to do the stuff that I've already started, and then the main story. Enemies are so aggressive. What? Okay, I mean, we did bump into you, so I can understand your anger. But on the other hand, could you fuck off? You guys seem no. Oh wait, uh, this is the taxi. Wait, where's the entrance? Hmm. Here you were coming from the other direction. Sounds familiar. Pocket Circuit Stadium, huh? The same spot and everything. Property in the city seems to change ownership of the seasons, but the stadium's still standing. Wow. How nostalgic. It was just like yesterday, I was aiming to design the fastest racing machine in the show. Wouldn't they just be like a regular car? Well, well, yeah, but... Racing against my rivals, customizing cars like crazy. Those are the days. I think we did two races, Kiryu. I wonder what all those kids are up to now. 
Have they graduated and moved on to bigger and better things? No. She's gonna be a bunch of 30 year olds in there. Far out, I know that profile anyway, dude. It's a uh, Mr. Racer. I, you had like a wacky name, I think. Guys, McCoon, right? And you must be. It's me. Actually, I forgot who you are. What? Hey, come on, man. That's way harsh, Kazuma Kun. That's it. I knew it was something stupid. They call me Pocket Circus Fighter, man. The racer who does live commentary at the Pocket Circus Stadium. That's also my job, and I don't know what a Pocket Circus is. Don't ask questions. I was kidding. Of course I remember you. It's been a while, fighter. Dude, you really had me going for a sec there, Kazuma Kun. But man, am I glad to see you again. <laughs> me too. I was in jail for murdering someone. <laughs> it's been a while since anyone's called me Kazuma Kun, that's for sure. It's been 17 years, in fact. How you been? Wait, it's been 17 years? I guess I didn't really know. I guess it, yeah. I guess it was about a. I don't really remember when Zero takes place. It's like mid 80s. This game started in 95, so yeah, that seems about right. I guess I never really, really contextualized that there was that much of a time jump between Zero and the start of, uh, like the start of the game before its time skip. Anyway, if we're gonna keep chatting, let's take it inside the Pocket Circuit Stadium. You wanna see the old digs, right? Yeah, that's a good idea. Looks at things in here. You never know it's been 17 years. Yeah, because it didn't it wasn't like 88. That seems kind of familiar. In zero. Um flies, doesn't it? You suddenly start showing up. So I wonder what happened to you, Cosmic Coon. Be kinda crazy if you like went to jail for murdering some guy. Oh, um, I got busy, you know? And I just couldn't find time to come by. I see, I see. What about you? Have you been commentating on the races ever since I left? Yeah. Actually, lots happened on my end, too. Had to go to jail for 10 years for a murder. I totally committed. Some dude beat me in pocket circuit, and I said, well, you're going to be beating me to hell, too. And then I shot him. I was scouted by the pocket circuit league from my live commentary skills to liven up the game all over Japan. S seriously? That's great. <laughs> I guess so. Your devotion paid off, eh? You used to work as a part-timer, making a measly 850 yen per hour, and now you must be pretty high up the ladder. Wait, wait, why'd you look away? Actually, the company finally recognized my efforts, so they offered me a full-time position. Oh, did someone notice your hard work? Yeah, but then I failed the written exam to become a full-time employee. As a result, I'm still a part-timer. My hourly rate's up to 1,020 yen. Oh, I see. Wages have only gone up 170 yen in 17 years. His annual raise was 10 yen per year? That's a little sad. <sighs> Damn, we reunited for 17 years and I've already made it awkward. I better say something to change the subject. I'm glad your wages went up. <laughs> Why not try for full-time again? Why don't you try for a full-time position again? Have your skills and you still have your skills and your fighting spirit. I think you have a shot if you study hard for it. I want to do that too, but once you fail the exam, it takes years to earn the right to attempt it again. This is for a commentary position, right? Yo, it's 2005. You can start your uh, pocket circuit YouTube channel, man. Could be the fucking king. There's like seven people on the platform at that time. R really? Yeah, man. I got no clue when I can take the exam again. Should have studied harder back then. Damn, this is getting really awkward. Anyway, that's what's happened. It's left me to really think hard about my future. What do you mean? 
Well, I actually have a fiance. Is she a car? Betty. What? <laughs> You're engaged? You seem uh, kind of surprised by that, dude. Uh. Of course I'd be surprised. But I get it now. You finally found love, huh? For sure. I met her while I was traveling all around Japan. Everything really does happen for a reason. <laughs> you used to get teased by having no experience with the ladies, but I guess you finally become a man. Oh, uh, actually, my fiance is a little old fashioned, dude. We're not, uh, doing anything like that until we're married. Uh, that wasn't what I. No, man, it's fine. Problem is, when I went to ask her folks for their blessing to marry her, they turned me down. So my racing jacket wasn't fly enough for him, dude. I believe the exact words were, You'd expect us to give our daughter to a guy who can't even find a full time job? Yeah, but part time or not, you've achieved so much as the fighter, and the kids really love you. You're better father material than I am, really. That's not good enough. The status of being a full-time salaried employee is huge to them. Having it or not makes a big difference. I never knew. Your fiance's parents are old-fashioned too, old fashioned too, huh? Uh. Exactly, man. They really care about these things. But if I let this opportunity pass by, I don't think I could ever marry. Besides, I think the world needs a new pocket circuit fighter. Anyway, a new pocket circuit fighter? I love how long this is. This is, this is all just to introduce a mini game. That's right. More and more young races are getting into pocket circuit. Think the company needs to bring in some new blood to keep itself going. It really does care for the future of pocket circuit. When I find my replacement, I'm gonna retire and take over my family's long-established tofu business, dude. That get sure approval of my fiance's parents. Even though I'd actually only be making 900 yen an hour, so. Technically, uh, it's, a, it's a downgrade in pay. I guess that makes sense. But as you know, man, pocket circuit's super important to me. One could say it's my entire life. I can't just give the position to any young punk off the street. Let's see, I'm looking for someone who loves pocket circuit and can put as much passion into it as I do. Someone who loves it as much as you. Hmm. Yeah, not an easy qualification to have. Plus, I've still got my job as a current fighter. I haven't really had time to go scouting for new candidates. You can tell where you're concerned about your future. It's true, you're at a major turning point in your life. Yep, I think it's fate that we saw each other again. The next pocket circuit fighter could be you! Well, I mean, you said you're looking for new blood. He's like almost 40 years old. Yeah. Nope. Oh. Man, why you gotta go harsh my vibe like that? You could at least help me find someone worthy of being the next generation pocket circuit fighter, man. You want me to look for your successor? Yeah, if it's someone you recommend, I'm sure he or she could be trusted to take in the reins. Hmm. Of course, I'm not asking you to look for someone right now. I'm sure you're busy doing your own thing, man. I'll be at the reception desk. It comes all to me again sometime. Uh, sure. G got it. I need a successor with a fighter, huh? Okay. Well, alright. We'll, we'll come back later. Since that took longer than I expected. There will actually be no pocket circuit. Pocket circuit team today? Hello? What's the matter? The Yakuza hater? You're Yakuza, aren't you? Yeah. No, I may have the look, but I'm not Yakuza. I don't have the little fancy pin thing. Shut up! I don't want to hear your lies. You came here to get in my way, didn't you? Hold on, what? Not a chance, Yakuza. I'll kill you for trying to ruin me. What? Is he menacing? Oh, so you got dudes just materializing out of the back? Another man whose neck has been snapped by Kyushan? Yakuza Skull, if you're gonna kill me, just get it over with! Calm down, you're frantic. I don't know how to convince you, but I'm not Yakuza. 
Oh, man, you're a liar. You're just like the rest of them. What would I gain out of lying to you? Besides, I don't even know what this business deal was. Oh, so sorry. What did they do to make you this afraid of them? Well, you see, I had a new opportunity lined up. It was ruined by those good-for-nothing Yakuza. Very important business deal that I was going to put my career on the map. Thanks to those thugs, those negotiations are cut short. Interesting. Yakuza don't usually interfere with a business deal unless it's really lucrative. What happened? Unless they were interested in my company, he even asked for a partnership with me. Hell, if I didn't know any better, I might have fallen for that fake company name. I want my business to be legitimate. That means not getting in bed with Yakuza, so I rejected their offer. I had to. Now I'm seeing the picture. You're being targeted in retaliation because you wouldn't make a deal with them. Yeah, you see why I despise the Yakuza then? Well, I can at least understand the situation. Good enough. Look, I know I was rude to you before, and I don't deserve the answer, but could you tell me your name? Uh. A Judgment Kazi? Don't sweat it. My name's Kiryu. Kiryu-san. Got it. My name is, uh, Yoshioko. I'm really sorry for making mistaking you for a Yakuza. I'll admit, I'm surprised when you rushed me. Oh. Mm. <laughs> well, 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 look who we have here. If it isn't Yoshioka-san, how did a little deal go the other day? How dare you? Mm. Yoshioka? Here to introduce us? It's them. The Yonkers who sabotaged my business deal with a bunch of nasty lies about me. God damn, you're still stuck on that Yakuza BS? Get it through your head. We are not Yakuza. Well, you have the little pin thing. Well, yeah, alright. And sabotage? Please, give me a break. All I did was have a conversation with your friend that day. I mean, wouldn't you want to know if the person you were going into business with was a judgmental nut job? I'd be wary of people who accuse civilians of being Yakuza. But, like, I can see the pin on your jacket, man. Sorry, we were talking about your little deals, so fell through, huh? Oh, it's too bad. You intended for it to fail. You knew this would happen. <laughs> Whoops, was that that obvious? Damn, cat's out of the bag. You! Boy. Allow me. Huh? Hey, guys, mind giving me a moment of your time? What? You got a problem, big guy? Yeah, guys like you need to learn not to meddle in the affairs of other people without so much as to care about how it affects them. Oh, and you think you're one to teach us, boss? You'd be surprised how convincing my fist can be. You have any idea who you're talking to? Here's a lesson for you. Underestimating me isn't very good for your health. Okay, but you see the thing is there's a trash can right here? Like, did you, th did you think that through? I'm talking a lot of shit for some guy in trash can range? Too damn strong. You're all regret crossing me. Ah. Hey man, wait for us. We gotta get off my neck and ribs. I got hit by a fucking trash can, dude. I think that was a lot of hot air, but I don't know if he was Yakuza at all, after all. Picked up President's business card. Here you, son. Thank you so much. I don't know what I would have done without you here. Uh. Hmm? Don't sweat it. I feel tar terrible, though. I judged you and your looks and then attacked you for it. Yet you still lent me a hand. We're fine. Nothing I lose any sleep over. And you should probably know. That guy wasn't Yakuza. W what do you mean? Here, see for yourself. Looks like he's just a guy with a real mouth on him. Got a real, but a real business to go with it. No way, I gotta be wrong about him too. Might not mean much coming from me. You shouldn't judge a book by its cover. I understand, Kyu-san. I'll try and do better. Take this as my apology or... Well, uh, thank you, President. Whatever you want to accept it as, it doesn't matter. Just take it. 
A red jewel? Who the fuck just carries around a gym stone with him in his pocket? No, that's okay. Please, I insist. I need to thank you somehow. You must. Now, like, what's next? You gonna hand me a bag full of gold doubloons? No more judging books by their covers. You show me that people's actions are really what matter. Guess if you really read between the lines, what happened here today was all my fault. Well, no. It would probably be the guy, the fault of the guy who tried to scam you. That's already some good progress, then. Alright, Q-son. Tomorrow's gonna be a new chapter for my business and a new chapter for me. I have a long way to go, but we can only turn one page at a time, right? Wow, he really went all in on the book metaphors. But maybe I'm just reading into it too much. <laughs> Write that down for Q's HBO's comedy special. Anything over here? I thought it was all sparkly. Someone help me? I suppose. Oh, 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 there it is. Alright, sir. I suppose we can help the man locked in the toilet. I have sworn I saw a red sparkle, too. We can upgrade abilities. Have you heard about this? This brand new concept? Snap the arm of an enemy using a one handed blade. I mean, that seems kind of good. Oh yeah, I wanted to save. Crisis on the crapper. I think that voice is coming from the stall. Should I say something? Maybe it's an emergency. I should ask if he's okay. Good. You okay in there? Oh, I'm so glad you're here. Please, help me! What's wrong? Did you run out of toilet paper? Well, it's rather embarrassing to say, but... Yes, that's precisely the problem. Do there any spare rolls in the stall? Oi. Believe me, I've looked. Hmm, looks like the stall next to it's empty too. No. Then, I'm doomed. Sir, you don't have anything I could use, do you? Like pocket tissues? Uh, didn't we get rid of those? I mean, we put them in our item storage, so they should just be right around the corner. I guess I could find some tissues. They hand them out all over the place. But why? I mean, I assume it's like advertising or something, right? Like, they're like... Branded pocket tissues? You better not need more pocket tissues. The voice of an angel! Sir, did you bring me something to use like a toilet paper? Mm. You have some pocket tissues. What should I do? Here, try this. You guys like need increasingly uh, insane things to use as toilet paper? It's po pocket tissues. Thank you so much. I can finally go outside again. Ah! What's wrong? The second wave is coming. I've used all this tissue. I'm sorry to ask, but can you bring me more pocket tissues? I could use an extra pack for safety, so maybe two packs. I guess so. Thank you so much. Oh, my stomach. This is gonna be bad. Two packs of pocket tissues this time. I can swing that. Thankfully, we have exactly two. Thankfully, the game has tricked me three total times and they're talking to the pocket tissue guy. I even thought about just like getting all of them and then I didn't. And then we had to waste 
10 seconds going back. Hey. There you are. Did you bring the two pocket tissues I asked for? I do have the pocket tissues. What should I do? As long as you don't ask to use a bunch on as toilet paper, I guess you're okay. Yeah, I got you two packs of tissues. Thank you so much. This should do it. Sorry for all the trouble. I had to use both of those packs, so I'm glad I asked for extra. So you're good now, right? Yes, I'm fine. What is it now? Now my nose is bleeding. Profusely. Is this like a fetish thing? Are you getting off on this shit? S seriously? I don't have time for this, man. But, but please don't say that. You're my only hope. I hate to ask, but could you bring me more tissue packs? I think that spare was a good... Also, why are we playing like creepy music? I think the spare was a good, good idea. So maybe this time... You bring me three packs? Just give it time, your nose will stop bleeding. No, it's like a geyser. I oh, don't stop this, I could very well die. That's the magnitude of this blood fountain. Fine, fine, I die, but I'll bring you some. Just calm down. <laughs> Thank you so much. Got three packs of pocket tissues? Guess I gotta get them. I mean, if you're being for reals, you're already dead, because there's no way we return to that anytime soon. What is there to do? Oh, there's the MEB. We finally found it. Was that always there? I feel like it wasn't there. There's no way I would have missed it, right? No, how do I, how do I run? That's not how you run. That's the wrong run button. No, 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 you, you will never get this. You will never get this. I suppose we could go investigate the MEB now. I also wouldn't mind unlocking our coin lockers, because we have several keys. What the hell are you doing, dude? Get bumped into. And the question is, where were the coin lockers? I think they were in front of Millennium Tower. Oh my gosh, she's running so fast. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, she's unbound and untethered. Her speed cannot be matched. Um There's nothing here. What the hell? That is actually going to get someone killed. When it comes to the city's nightlife, leave it to me. I'll show you the best spots. Uh, tell me about Shine. Tell me about Shine. Shine is a cabaret club down on Pink Street. Lots of joints down there tend to overcharge, but you don't have to worry about that with Shine. How do I know your information is legitimate and you're not being paid by them? It's a lie. All the girls there are fantastic. I especially recommend meeting with Rita Chan. You want me to take you there? I don't know. Can I do the quest now? Great, I'll lead the way, so follow me, please. I don't know why I had to talk to this guy first before we could get the uh, quest for Shine, but... Rina Chan's a good girl, show her a good time, and I'll make sure you have one too, or she'll make sure. I'm not involved, I'm just a dude. I mean, maybe if you ask so nicely and pay me extra. Good evening, sir. Welcome to Shine. Our prices started at 8,000 yen for the night, plus a service fee of 3,000 yen? What the hell? You don't have to request a particular servant hostess? That's so much damn money. Will you be joining us tonight? I mean, I guess. I just wanted to do the side quest. Is this about to be real awkward? What the, what is, what is this? Why are you handing me a card? Business card? Yeah, I got them all hot and bothered. Um, at XXXXXXXX, uh, that's my favorite phone number. May I ask who your name is? 
Key science, nice to meet you. I feel like I'm not getting my side quest. I feel like I've been baited into getting into horny content. Yeah, likewise. Oh my god, it's so damn expensive, man. We're getting freaking orange juice. <laughs> how is how is orange juice cheaper than? All right, fine. We we can't appear to be like a complete scrub. Well, so what else are we gonna spend our money on? We got some XP. That's cool. Oh, that's why we're doing it. But you have some too? Absolutely not. Just fine. But like, we bought it. Nonsense. Let's enjoy ourselves tonight. So far, we've done everything. You're not a side quest lady. Yeah. Not really, I guess it just got kind of big naturally. What is what does that even mean? You like athletes? You play any sports? Hmm? You watch sports on TV then? <laughs> so it's just a random compliment? Oy, oy. I don't mind flattery, but you shouldn't say things you don't mean. Yeah. Well, you're soon wrong. Kiryu only likes pocket circuit racing. Well, unfortunately, my life got cut off from entertainment for a while, when I legally murdered a guy. I can't talk much about sports. <sighs> no, we're not letting you off the hook. You, you can't make me feel bad by reducing the arbitrary heart meter. I knew about the consequences when I picked it. Don't worry about it. We just met. It can be awkward trying to hit it off with someone right away. Let's take it easy. What made you choose to work here? Probably the money. I mean, I suppose that's true as well. They're kind of like show business? But you come here as a person who gets paid every day, isn't that better? I feel like you got the better end of the arrangement. That's why you became a hostess, huh? Heard of girls working here to meet eligible men, but someone working here for the girls, that's a first. So you're into girls? Um, you, you look happy. You look happy. Come to think of it, I knew a guy in the joint who enjoyed being around all the guys. He seemed to love every minute of being there. Ah, oh, that's right. But, is that really appropriate to be looking at them in that way? I don't know. I mean, probably not. Yeah. You start liking men? Yeah, Kiryu. Well, then I probably won't ever understand. What the hell is this? Order something else? Give present? We don't have a gift. Alright, just fucking order this. Drown the pain. What would you like to order? You can't go wrong. I mean, 
That's some dang fruit. I want this. I mean, compared to the money selling alcohol. Lady, when are you giving me a quest? You don't get requested, you can get fired. So not that a pinch it is. Gonna eat Shokuba cake and start off. No, who can no bite on your mother and I come on. Imano Tini, the kid that can say there. She got it choking stokanai to know. Your party camera cut the river, and I on there. We will not be buying you a camera, hundred percent. A camera? That's an interesting hobby. Your words mean nothing on me? Why not? I thought you get paid pretty well. That'll get you. It, even though it does kind of just take out a loan, you got to spend it to make it. That means you really don't want it. I mean, it seems a little uptight, but it's the truth. We'll say something slightly more optimistic. Like they say, you got to spend money to make money. A fortune in the bank's no better than being broke. Shut up, Kiryu. Am I actually making gains? Uh, no. For example, if you walk instead of taking a cab, you'll get tired. If you're worried about late fees, you'll feel rushed to finish those videos. Right now, you're living worry-free. I mean, to a degree, that's right. Right? Time is money, and money can't buy happiness. So you didn't waste that cash, you just spent it on your health. Absolutely not. A less than 0% chance. Whoa, I didn't say that. I mean, you did just say that it's... How do I get out of this? I should keep talking? Yeah. Let's just don't... Keep... Keep talking. Help. I'm trapped in a jail of horniness. Oh, food. Huh. Guys do that too. <laughs> Thanks for the insight, are you? Ah, yes. We we men do enjoy eating as well. What, you don't know that many places to eat? Are they not mark marked on your map that you carry around with you? うーん、そうなのかな。美味しいお店一つ知ってたらそれで十分っていうか、わざわざ他のお店に行く理由がないと思うんです。だから同じお店にばっかり何度も通っちゃって、いつまで経ってもレパートリーが増えないんですよね。
I think everyone cares about cutting costs. That's not like a uniquely feminine thing. And plus, you just said that you spend a lot of money, so you're just a liar. The best part is that a buffet is such a variety. You'd get to try and stuff you wouldn't find at normal restaurants. You can double down on the delicious stuff. Please free me from my prison. <laughs> sir, help! Your time is nearly up, sir. I've had enough drinks. Yeah. I'm good to go. Very good, sir. All my money gone. Absolutely not. Yeah, I like you. I'll request you from now on. And I'll be waiting. Wait. Rank E Pog. Yeah. That, is that the Majimers? Majima, let's fight. Yo, Kiri chan Majima san. I don't know what the big rush is. Oh god, Majima is like freaking jacked now. We have no bikes to, to utilize. Into the wall you go. Okay, you may be jacked, Majima, but you're not cure you jacked. Granted, I don't think he attacked us a single time. My block, it did nothing. Kill you! Kill you, gotta get up! You look pretty relaxed for having lost. You sure about that? If I lose this time, we'll kill you, Sean. Can't avoid fighting with Majima son. Learn Heat of the Dragon. Oh, we learned Heat Actions? How, how do I... Cell phone, unread messages, I think it's a riddle. Says it's a riddle for you, I don't understand. Let's roll together. I don't know how to do this still. A hostess at the Shine Club hasn't gotten any customers. That she won't quit until she meets Kiryu-san. Like, I don't know, maybe you had to do the... What was her name? Rena? Thing first? Introduce her character before you can do that side quest? I don't know. You have pocket? No, 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 you're like the... This is like the bikini thing. Yeah, absolutely not. Uh, we're, we're 43 minutes. What do you want to do? I mean, anything like short we could do for... Just a little bit. One of these days we're gonna do Shogi, man. One of these days. Oh, and you'll all be sorry. We can go get our locker. Oh my god, there's just two, there's too many damn people. Why does everyone want to fight Kiryu, man? Kiryu's just trying to chill out. Go steal stuff from people's lockers. If they didn't want their stuff to be stolen, why do they... No, 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 no. They shouldn't have left the keys lying around? A clay figurine? Is that food? I wouldn't eat locker food. I definitely- well, okay, locker whiskey, maybe. Definitely not some random cigarette. Bust amulet? A 
golden blackjack. Wow, we just like immediately upstage the old one? Okay, I think that's all the ones that are highlighted. Good sell for a profit. Increases your ch chances of getting an ace out in Salo. I vaguely remember that minigame. Cigarette using it causes... Be careful not to drink too much. Increases of getting trips. Toughness infinity. Church. Bust amulet using it and increases the chances for the dealer to bust for a certain amount of turns. What the hell? Did it do anything? No. Trouble finder? Locker key, alertness hood, gives defense. I don't even know what, how good that is, but sure. How many weapons do we have? We got quite a few. This blackjack and sin flows flying is also said to grant good luck with money. You may be wondering, how does Kiyu have a katana in his back pocket? Don't ask questions. Alright? You learn things in prison that some would call strange and unnatural. Stop trying to fight me. Be my baby? Abso-frickin-lutely not? Yo, I'm just trying to read the dang signs. What's over here at this quest? Oh yeah, that's that's Mushroom Guy. Or where the Mushroom Guy was from Zero. It, it remains to be seen whether it is still the Mushroom Lord. The Mushroom Lord. Don't mind me just getting my horny card. Because you see, no matter what my opinions on ladies dressed up as bugs is, I cannot resist uh, a shiny. It can't be done. I just I don't have the capabilities to ignore the red shiny. When to activate? Does that say Alpha? Alpha. Oh, is it the name of like the club? That's like a. That was like a movie theater. Super Jet Gals, Kill Switch, Smilus. Bunch of other shit I can't read. Super Jet Gals. What? I can like take a peek. Is it the Mushroom Lord? You're not the Mushroom Lord. Alright, we'll talk to this guy, I guess, in the next video. Talk to this dude. Um, anything else we want to put on the agenda? We might just go do some story stuff for a little bit. There's still Sega Kid. I, I haven't decided if I want to do that or not. I kind of don't, but I might. The jury's still out. But yeah, we'll, we'll talk to this dude, do his sub story, and then maybe do some main story stuff next time. I'm Extra Cheesy 87 Stay tuned for the next part. And bye, guys.